Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla. Today is June 29th, 2023, and this is the State of Health. Today, we're going to dive into something that may sound a bit jargony at first, but I promise you it's not as complicated as it sounds. Our topic? Early versus later anticoagulation for stroke with atrial fibrillation. Sounds fancy, right? Let's break it down into bite-sized pieces. First, imagine your heart just chilling and doing its thing, right? Well, sometimes the heart gets a bit wonky and beats irregularly, a condition known as atrial fibrillation. This can cause blood to pool and form clots, and if these clots find their way to the brain, it can lead to a stroke. Now, anticoagulants are medications that help prevent these blood clots from forming, sort of like a bouncer at a club saying, hey, you're not coming in here. Direct oral anticoagulants, or DOACs as the cool kids say, are a type of these medications. But the million-dollar question is, when do we actually start using these DOACs after someone has had a stroke? That's exactly what this study was trying to figure out. They wanted to know if it was better to start anticoagulation treatment early, like within 48 hours after a minor or moderate stroke, or on day 6 or 7 after a major stroke, or later, a few days after the stroke. They gathered over 2,000 participants from around the globe for this study. About a third had minor strokes, 40% had moderate strokes, and about a quarter had major strokes. Half of them started the anticoagulation treatment early, and the other half started it later. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The results showed a bit of difference between the two groups. The early treatment group had slightly fewer recurring strokes or other health events related to blood clotting than the later treatment group, but the difference wasn't extreme, and there's a chance it could have been due to luck. So what's the takeaway? Well, it's not definitive, but this study suggests that starting the anticoagulation treatment early might be slightly more beneficial than starting it later. But remember, everyone is different, and treatment decisions should always be personalized. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. Until then, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close. Remember, prevention is better than cure.